I'd say every other person wants a lemon tree <laughs> or some sort of lime. I wouldn't grow citrus in 2021 in South Florida with the citrus that we have. What it is, it's called citrus greening, is the new pest that's really giving them problems. It's called Huang Long Bin. Basically, it's just a psyllid. It's like a little insect that gets in there and prevents the citrus from being able to grow and thrive. Some citrus growers are still fighting it and trying to like get by, but honestly, a lot of the groves are done and they're trying to switch it over. Like, but a lot of people don't know that. You go across the state of Florida, it's just citrus for millions of acres, and then it's just sand underneath it. And there's no other life. There's no mulch. There's no forest floor, if you will. And it's just a buffet of feeding grounds for this insect now. And they're trying to like use netting. And so people try to spray copper and mass production's not a bad thing. If you did a million acres of food forest, like there's gonna be mass production, like distribution will still be a thing. The problem is monoculture. So polyculture is the solution, think of it differently. Like how about try to figure out which one's really resistant and planting it in a biodiverse system. You know, I got some friends trying that out, like trying to regenerate the land and not just deplete it like we've been doing. So I would say it's not like citrus can't be done, but the results are definitely not there when I've gone and bought a tree at Home Depot or one of these. There's only a couple of the suppliers in the whole state and it just doesn't do thrive, you know, because it's like really corrupted species. I'm actually sitting under this is a tangerine tree and we were super blessed with this property. It had this tree on it when we got here and it's not very affected by the greening. So the tangerine, they say the dancy tangerine like does really well against the greening. And you could see, cause this is this old Florida cracker tree that's still here and thriving on neglect. The truth is hard sometimes, you know, the truth is hard. But I am optimistic about everything we're learning and and like how we could better utilize our space. Like we've been solving problems for so long, we can continue solving problems. And we could do adopt some of these newer regenerative practices with all the land and, and you know, amazing uh, weather we have. So I, I'm hopeful that we're able to come together and um, lead the way to change these systems and create a better future for all of us. Let's try to change the system, you know, from, with, from within, you know.